career basketball. The mission statement has been clear all season long for the Anawan Bravettes. Win it all. It is mission accomplished as the Bravettes go wall to wall as the number one team throughout the season, getting that state championship win decisively over Carrollton. This FCA Game of the Week is sponsored by Farmers National Bank of Prophetstown. Strength, respect, commitment, your bank for the future. Early on, the Bravettes actually find themselves down, but they get down to the business of taking the lead. Selena Van Hefty recovers nicely to give the Bravettes that 3-2 edge. Later on, Sierra Davis fights off three defenders, and this game is all tied up. Then, Selena Van Hefty follows her own miss for two more points. Later on, it is Selena there to clean up, and Anawan is on top by four points. Late in that opening quarter of play, Sierra Davis with the rebound basket, and the lead grows to 15 to 9 through one quarter of play. Huge pressure defense. Megan Foes ahead to Paige Randall. The basket plus one. It's 17 to 9. Maddie Jackson showing her quickness on the steal. And she gets it ahead to Megan Foes, and the pace is picking up in this game. Later, Megan Foes again, the steal to Morgan Van Hefty. It's 28 to 11. Late in the half, it is Anawan running the motion nicely to Sierra Davis. She lays it in with just three seconds left. It's 30 to 12 Anawan at the half, and they're going to finish the deal in the third quarter of play. Bravettes work it into Megan Foes, make that an outside bomb, and the lead is 30. 34 to 12. Sierra Davis again from downtown this time, and the Bravettes get it done up 38 to 14. Sierra runs the break now to Megan Foes for the three ball. The lead is extended to 41 to 14. Sierra Davis, the strong move to the basket once again as it continues to grow. Then they work it to Selena. She finishes 19 points, 13 rebounds for her. Sierra is so strong on the offensive boards. She gets one of her 12 rebounds and two more of her 17 points. Then Megan Foes. She has been a rock throughout her career, knocks down another three ball, and they can smell the state championship. Paige Randall hits the laser beam three, and the lead is 57 to 18. They win the state championship game 59 to 23 over Carrollton to set off the celebration of the first state gold in Anawan history. Well, hey. <laughs> Is this what you dreamed it was going to be like? Yeah, this is awesome. I'm glad I get to share it with these girls. <laughs> Maybe that's the best part, right? Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> so if you guys uh, really didn't get challenged uh, throughout this tournament, there's no guarantees, you know, and here you are standing on top of the state. That's got to be pretty special for you. Um, I'm so proud of us. Uh, we came out and played just like we needed to. Our defense was spot on. We did get a little off pace there in that game, but we brought it back and controlled ourselves. You think back to how much work has gone on to this. It's got to be a pretty fulfilling thing in your young life. Yeah, things like this don't just happen. It takes a lot of dedication and hard work and coming together as a team, and that's what we did. Tell me where this fits in uh, to the momentum of uh, going into college and becoming, uh, becoming an adult. You know, it's, this is something that's not going to be taken away from you. Oh, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. We learned a lot of valuable lessons with this. Um, great leadership skills and way to motivate our teams and everything like that. How special is it going to be to hand that trophy over uh, to the school? It's going to be awesome. It's the first time we won stay all around at our high school. Well, in our high school. It's going to be awesome. I words can't describe what I'm feeling right now. It's just amazing. It's just a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Talk about I mean, how fulfilling it is knowing that a plan came together over the long haul of the season. We've been working together for so, so long, and it's just it's great to see it finally paying off, and we're just loving this moment. Oh, I had no idea how exciting it would actually be to be able to say that we won state, and I think our team did a great job tonight. Tell me, I mean, it was decisive throughout the tournament, too. I mean, how fulfilling that part is that uh, you made, uh, you guys left no stone unturned. You're definitely number one. Yeah, well, our th team motto was uh, on a mission. I think we completed that mission very well tonight. Mm -hmm. How cool is it going to be to hand the trophy over to the school? Um, it's going to be a great feeling to be able to be the first people in history to bring home a state title back to Anawan, so really excited. It's just great how much this means to like our community and for our team and just for our school. I'm just so happy right now that we were able to come out here and just do so much for them. You guys obviously uh, were so decisive throughout the, the tournament too. I mean, there's just no doubt you guys are number one. Is that kind of the kind of the affirmation like 
nobody came close. You know, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to say we just blew them away. They were great teams. We just came out there and just played great defense. They just didn't know what hit them. But props to them because they were good teams. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be like, you know, when you're handing the trophy over to the school, knowing that, uh, you know, this is a first and this is something that's uh, going to be uh, part of uh, – what you were at this school, how cool that is. You know? I'm going to expect another one next year with <laughs> my sisters and our team that's going to step up because they have the potential to do that if they work hard at it. I know they can. How great is it for a young lady? You know, you, you, you get together with a bunch of other teammates and coaches and you set a plan and they, you see it unfold in front of you and uh, here you are holding up the, the biggest trophy in the state. It's been our goal ever since the season ended last year to get back here again and win it. And the fact that we just accomplished it, like there's no words to describe how excited we are right now, how happy we feel. Yeah, it's the best feeling that I've experienced, and I get to end it with my all my teammates I've been playing with since junior high. It's a great feeling. How great is that part that you guys built friendships along the way that are probably gonna last longer than uh, that trophy does? You know. Yeah, it's it's the best part about it is because I can go and hang out with all these girls and I get to play with them every day at basketball. It's it's awesome. There's going to be days you come back when uh, when your mom and your grandma and you're going to see that trophy. That's got to be uh, pretty meaningful long term wise too. Yeah, that'll bring back a lot of great memories that I've experienced throughout my high school career because this is the best the best memories I'll probably ever have. You guys made an impact on a community too. I mean, uh, how enriching is that for you? That you, you really made a difference in lives. You know? Well, it's great because they do a lot for us by coming and supporting us every night. And so being able to bring back this trophy is great. As well as they were playing, I, I expected, I, I kind of expected to see it, but it still, when it when it comes to fruition, you're just like, wow, we really did it. Um, because there's always a little bit of doubt when you've never done it before. And uh, just to see it happen for them was very special. It's been out there for you to put your hands on the trophy, though. I mean, uh, how affirming is that part uh, of uh, that you guys are, can stand here and say, hey, we, we don't want it anymore. We are state champs. Yeah, um, you know, that's what the girls have been working for for a long time. Um, you know, a lot of them, they put a lot of hard work and effort into this game. Uh, and, you know, just just to do it in high school, um, you know, we, we have one so far that we know is moving on to play basketball in college. So that's a lot of effort to put in for four years of basketball in high school. And, uh, you know, they dedicated themselves to the program and they got the big payoff. There's really so much emotion and love that's gone into this, too, from the community standpoint, too. You know, when you're playing for a town that uh, absolutely defines itself sometimes on uh, how, how their high schoolers are doing and, and loving them, whether it's in basketball or uh, the school play, that's going to be pretty cool for you. Yeah. Um, these girls are, you know, they're very inspirational. Um, I think we really got a lot of people excited when we started putting together the schedule we have the past few years. Uh, and I always tell them, you know, great, great moments come from great opportunity. So we tried to give them, you know, as much opportunity as we could to, to experience those great moments. Um, fell short a few times, but I always told them, you know, nothing, nothing not to be proud of. Uh, you know, we're, we're taking big schools to the brink, and every once in a while we're knocking them off. So, uh, you know, it, it was just a joy to be around those seniors and, uh, and have those moments. Hey, Anawan coaches and athletes, remember we've got Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your campus every Wednesday morning before school. And of course, congratulations to the state champions. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.